second degree burns, right chest. All right. I just fold it under there. That made her better. Cap refill, less than two respirations, 24, conscious and oriented. Delayed. Delayed. Initially, my impression was I've been a hazmat tech for some time in Kentucky for probably about nine or ten years. Um, initially, I thought it might just be a lot of review material that I had before. Um, what really surprised me mo most was the quality of instruction, the experience that the instructors had, as well as the different abilities um, and, and level, levels of the students, departments, and things like that. I was really surprised at the resources there as well. What's more important is this one can see alpha, beta, and gamma. I think one of the biggest things is just, just the awareness. Um, like so being able to talk to some of the instructors and having them talk about some of their experiences that they've had. I want to make sure everybody understood that. Anyway, step in the room, begin your search. By the way, you need to understand there's only three ways you can actually set off a device. Only three, believe it or not. You're one of them. Or if you open it, it goes off. You know, they say uh, you, you can't run if you haven't tried walking yet. And I think when we're in the classroom, we're walking and they're kind of guiding us through and uh, teaching us the basics. Then once we got separated into groups, we started to actually get a little bit more hands on. Don't want to rip it, you want to make a cut, straight cut. No, no, look at it, no more. Wait, 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 cut out, Keith, time out, time out, time out. This is DT here. There's another red over there, bring them down. There you go. Now do you see the communication challenges, right? It's going to be hard. It was all leading up to this, what we did today, which was throwing everything together, and I think uh, it really was a, a good mesh and really prepared us for it. I think, uh, it, especially you know, coming from a paramedic program, we do tons of simulations, and it does help you, but it, it can only take you so far, because you do know that it's not real. You try to replicate it and make it as real as possible, but it's, it's usually not going to get that point across, where I think today, dealing with real chemicals, knowing that it was real. There you go. Good catch, team leader. Way to catch it. It changed uh, the mentality of a student, how we approach coming into those rooms and how serious we're taking stuff. And it, it really helps get that uh, the point across when we're dealing with these uh, chemicals. With our MA paper, we have a G-series nerve agent, correct? A G-series nerve agent, we learn, evaporates slow or quickly. It evaporates very fast even though we're freezing it. It just really brings it home just the, the seriousness of the threat. Um, it's easy to be detached from it. You think either, you know, it can't happen here, it's happened over here in different areas. But by seeing that product and being educated on the, on the lethality of it, and like we've talked about just in how small a material needs to, to be dangerous to your community, I think it really just imparts a, a, a great seriousness to the training. Um, I was really impressed by, by the students here. Everybody took it, you know, took it really seriously. You could tell the level of concentration with the students that you don't always necessarily get um, you know, from your hometown department or either, either statewide trainings because there's, there's that perception of, ah, it's just a, you know, we know it's not real. What we got? Positive. Positive back. Y'all did excellent. Step one. Okay, let me write this down. I got to make sure. We're here obviously going through the steps, going through procedures. Uh, it, it really makes you want to pay attention. You're going to be under the gun at the end of the week and someone's really going to be paying attention to how you perform.